Here's a type of quadratic word problem. I had to edit it a little bit. Um, I was thinking square centimeters because of the word uh, phrase cc, cubic centimeters. So I put square everywhere, but it really is cubic. So there's a few little errors in my typing. So we have this machine that produces open top boxes, kind of like a shoe box without the lid. Um, using a square sheet of aluminum to begin with, the machine first cuts squares out of the corners. So these four squares here are gonna get cut out and all that's going to be left is this little plus sign looking thing. Um, in this case, 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters are these little squares. Then it folds the metal up, basically folds on the dotted line, and what happens when you do that is you get this open top box um, with a solid base. And then the question is asking what dimensions of the um, will this base have after you're done, and what dimensions of the original sheet of aluminum did you have to start with to end up with a 200 cc or 200 milliliter um, container. All right, so I drew a couple pictures here. And the only thing we really know about this is the dimension of this square here is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters. So when you fold this thing up, this is going to be the height of the box. So the dimension that we know so far is this is 50 centimeters going straight up. So that leaves the square base, draw an imaginary base that's in there, um, must have dimensions that we don't know, so we can just call them x. So the dimension of our square bottom open top bay, uh, box is going to be x by x by 50 centimeters high, x centimeters, x centimeters. All right, so we know the volume of this box, and volume is equal to length times width times height. And we know what the volume is. It's going to be 200 milliliters or 200 cubic centimeters. The length and the width are both x and x, so this would be x times x. And then our height, of course, is that 50 centimeters. So we have x centimeters, x centimeters, 50 centimeters. When you put it all together, cubic centimeters. All right, so this isn't too bad. This is going to be 200 is equal to 50x squared. Divide both sides by 50, we're going to get 4 is equal to x squared. And then square rooting both sides, we're going to get x is equal to technically plus or minus 2, plus or negative 2, positive or negative 2. Um, but since this is a physical object, we're only going to take the positive root. So this base is going to be 2 by 2 centimeters. And if you want, you can check your work. This would be 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 50, giving you 200. And then this container would be a 200 millimeter, uh, milliliter container. It would be really, really tall and really, really small at the base. And that's it.